Hey guys, what's up? It's Captain Esneus here, and today I've got a video talking about my Switch breaking and how I don't really know what happened to it, and what GameStop is involved in it, and whatever. But hopefully this will be my last Switch video, uh, well, my last in a row Switch video. I I've seen that I've made quite a few of them, so um, if nothing else happens, I'm going to cut down on making Switch videos, going to go back to the normal videos, and uh, yeah, but... Next week, I will probably have a video going up that is like looking at my old videos. So if you're interested in that, tell me. If not, whatever, I'm still probably going to do it. But today, um, it was actually yesterday. I was playing 1-2 Switch with my sister. I got 1-2 Switch. We played that for like an hour, an hour and a half. And then she wanted to play Breath of the Wild. She never played Breath of the Wild. She wanted to try it out on my Switch. So I let her. She set up her account to make her own profile and stuff, and everything was working perfectly fine. She was making me, it was perfectly fine. And then she gets to getting on Breath of the Wild. Now, mind you, at my dad's house, I don't have a dock for the Switch, so she was playing it in handheld mode. We get onto that, and it's not working. Like, you have to press L and R on both of the Joy-Cons at the same time to sync it up. And if you have a Switch, you know that you can't have one Joy-Con on the console and one off of the console. So, this is actually a problem that nobody has seen so far, except for myself. Like, GameStop people haven't seen it. I've seen Crobat, I think it's Crobat's video. I think that's his name. I've seen his video. I haven't seen that problem on his video. I haven't seen this anywhere. But my right Joy-Con was not being recognized by the system. And it was actually the tablet part itself not recognizing that it was there. Because when we went to GameStop, the guy brought out his, put his Joy-Con on it, and it didn't recognize it. So there's something wrong with my system to where you can snap both of them on, the right one will not be recognized, but the left one will. So you can play with the right one on and the left one off, which is not supposed to be able to happen, but you can't play with both of them on because it recognizes the left one as being there and the right one is not. But the weird thing is, it still charges the right one and shows that it's charging it. So that's really odd. And uh, I took it to GameStop, they had no idea what was wrong with it, they were looking at it, they were looking at it, no idea. They go into the back, they get a switch out. I don't know if it was the dude's personal switch or if it was just one that they have there for troubleshooting, but he took out the switch that the GameStop had or he had, put his Joy-Cons on it, nothing worked. He told me, okay, so did you get the warranty on it? Now, I don't know what it would be like for somebody that didn't get a warranty. This is, what, two weeks after the system came out and it's broken? What if somebody didn't get the warranty? Like, are they not gonna get a new switch because they told me, did you get the warranty? I said, yeah. Did you, uh, like, do you have your receipt? Do you have your box? Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're getting a Switch um, shipment on, like, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, sometime around there. Put your name and phone number on this uh, card, and we'll give you a call when we get our next shipment, and we'll be sure to get you one of those. So GameStop was awesome about that. Again, I don't know what would happen if you didn't have the warranty, but this is the first system I've bought a warranty for. And it's a good thing because the thing broke. Uh, the right Joy-Con, the little button on the back, that doesn't even matter if you touch it or not. It can pop off, whatever. It, it doesn't matter if you press that button. On the left one, it matters if you press the button. It snaps into place. The right one is just all messed up. So the thing that really sucks is that Nintendo doesn't have any way to transfer your game saves. They don't save to the cartridges, which I think is really stupid. Like, everybody has, uh, if you've ever gotten a Nintendo 3DS game or a DS game or whatever Game Boy game the saves are on those cards and they didn't do that for the Switch so I don't think there's any possible way to get my Breath of the Wild saves or any other saves to the next system and then the other thing I did is if I don't deactivate my console before I get the new one I won't be able to re-download the games that I've bought so Nintendo, you're, you're messing up here. I know why they're doing it. They're trying not to have the thing where the, uh, people on Xbox can be like, oh, this is my home console, and then it's not their actual home console, and they're basically sharing games between them, and then free games, and two people can play them at once, and whatever. Um, but it, it really sucks. So I wanted to tell you guys about that. I want to tell you what's going on with my Switch, give you a little update, and uh, that was about it. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. This has been Captain Asneas, signing out. Peace.